Funding for the steamship America, a North Shore legend, is provided by the citizens of Minnesota through the Minnesota Arts and Cultural Heritage Fund. In 1908, extremely dry weather sparked devastating forest fires across the upper Midwest. Tinder dry slash left over from decades of lumbering operations fueled ravenous fires along the shore. By early September, large fires threatened towns and burned homesteads. Grand Marais is in great danger of being burned and no avenue of escape. Forest fires raging within a mile of town and fate of the place is in doubt. Duluth Evening Herald, September 8, 1908. The fires were large enough to prompt the governor of Minnesota to order steamers like the America to stand by for emergency evacuation. Communities like Beaver Bay, Grand Marais, and Chicago Bay were literally on edge. The wind changed yesterday and there is a strong possibility that the town was swept out by the fire before the America reached the scene. No further news of the situation will be received until the return of the America. She is due to arrive in Duluth at midnight tonight. Duluth Evening Herald, September 12, 1908. A young engineer named Ralph Russell Tinkham came through Duluth that fall to begin design work on a newly approved light station three miles up from the Split Rock River. On September 12th, he booked his passage on the America and took a stroll along the canal. In his journal, he writes, The fog whistle at the end of the pier was blowing on account of the heavy pall of smoke, so thick one could not see the main shore of Duluth from the pier. Ralph Russell Tinkham, engineer. The next morning, Tinkham and 40 firefighters were among the passengers heading up the shore to Grand Marais. There were no fires that I noticed amounting to anything until we arrived off Split Rock. Here they said they were fighting fire to within a half mile of the settlement. Conundrum Point and the next point above that, the one Split Rock light station is to be erected upon, were all burned over, as well as the mainland back from there and still burning. Around Grand Marais, the fire was close to the town and they were fighting day and night. The America carried frightened settlers and townsfolks from points all along the shore, people forced to the water's edge by the advancing flames. When suddenly the wind shifted, the city was saved with no loss of life, and another chapter in the America's story became legend. Funding for the Steamship America, a North Shore legend, is provided by the citizens of Minnesota through the Minnesota Arts and Cultural Heritage Fund.